this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Good morning, William Beaver, and good morning, <laughs> Squashy. Hello, Squashy. Are you are you feeling okay? Is that a new ducky dance that you've come up with? Um. Not entirely sure if that's going to catch on or not, but um, <laughs> you you keep doing you, Squashy. You keep doing you. <laughs> uh, anyway, while Squashy carries on doing what Squashy's doing, uh, I'm going to go and have my breakfast. And oh, I'm not very hungry yet. I need to go and uh, uh, let's run around. Let's try and at least have one slice for, for breakfast, shall we? If I keep running around, yum, there we go. <laughs> I had a little bit of a, a taste and I can come back and have the, uh, the rest of my breakfast a little bit later on. But I don't have time to wait around here all day and I don't want to only eat cake today. I am also, uh, hopefully, going to be eating some tasty clay oven cooked pizza a little bit later on uh, as well. But first, uh, let me go and head to the uh, the love garden, and uh, I'm going to be adding to it Wolf Bud 9. And the reason I'm adding Wolf Bud 9 is because uh, he got all of these handmade Stampy and Squid toys. You can see uh, there's a massive Stampy, a little squid in the middle, uh, also a, uh, a Stampy cat pillow as well. And I thought they were so cool. I wanted to say thank you very much, Wolfbud, for sending me the uh, the picture. And welcome to my love garden. Right then, uh, let's go and get you over to the uh, the doghouse, Barnaby. Uh, William and Squashy, do you want to... um? God, what? What? What are you doing? Why are you? Why are you arranging all of the food in trails along the floor? Um, <laughs> is this is this a new game? I don't understand what the game is apart from just making a mess. <laughs> oh dear. I'll leave them to go and play with their food. They say never play with your food, but that's what they're doing. They can go and do that. And oh, there's a cookie down here. Yum yum yum. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> and while they do that, I'm gonna go to the uh, the dog house and pick a dog. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be carrying on trying to build uh, my delivery pizza. Oh, another cookie. Oh uh, yeah, my uh, delivery pizza place today. And uh. We pretty much, uh, well, we did get got the uh, the entire outside uh, finished in the uh, the last episode, and uh, hopefully today uh, we're going to get the entire rest of it uh, completely finished up. So we can be joined by Corey. Uh, do you want to come and uh, join us today? Uh, let's go and stand him up. Uh, then let's go and head over there as fast as we can. So the main thing. Uh, that I'm going to be building today uh, is the actual clay oven. And if you remember in the last episode, I mentioned that it's going to be a working clay oven. It's not just going to be something there to look cool. Uh, it's going to be one that can be switched on and off. And there's actually going to be a fire you can see. And uh, there's a really cool way uh, which I'm going to be able to, to do that. And I'm going to teach you uh, how you can uh, how you can do it as well. In case you want to add uh, either a clay oven or just something similar uh, in your world uh, that you're building. Uh, yeah, you can go and do that. But I'm getting really hungry today. <laughs> see what happens. See what what happens if I don't have my breakfast in the morning? I just spend the entire day hungry. No matter what I eat afterwards, I'm just hungry the uh, the entire time. But as I said, hopefully I'm going to be able to eat some pizza later on. And of course, the uh, the pizza is kind of technically pumpkin pie, but it doesn't matter. It looks a lot like pizza, so we are going to pretend that it is pizza. So uh, this is the uh, the clay oven uh, that we built in the uh, the last episode, and you can see uh, we've got the uh, the fake flames there uh, going all uh, up and down uh, over here. So uh, what we need to do now uh, is the the inside. I do have some bad news though, because normally we would all go and have a, a game of spontaneous spleef, but sadly uh, there's ground here. I'm um, sadly if we did spontaneous spleef, you wouldn't fall down very far. So <laughs> we're going to have to be uh, boring and do the uh, the normal normal way uh, of destroying the uh, the ground today and uh, trying to just uh, destroy it with uh, our shovels and uh, the floor is actually going to be iron ore and that is a, a floor that I've never used before. <laughs> iron ore is a floor I've not used before and I've even made a, a rhyme up but it looks quite cool look if I go and place some of this down so all you need to do is just not smell iron and it's actually quite a, a cool building material I mean it's quite difficult to get a lot of it uh, which is the the only problem but luckily we had a, a massive mining trip recently where we got loads and loads and loads of stuff and I had so much spare iron I thought you know what why don't I build out of it and I thought uh, it makes a uh, quite a cool floor it kind of looks like um the kind of just like uh, pebbles, I guess, in the ground. Uh, it kind of looks like stones and pebbles. I don't know. It just seemed like the uh, the type of floor they might have uh, in a, in a place like this. So let's go and uh, place uh, all of this down here. And then I can go and carry on getting rid of the uh, the floor. And Corey, uh, let me just go and slide you uh, a little bit over here to get you out of the uh, the way. And I can go and uh, try and finishing off uh, to, to place the uh, the bits down here that I need. So the layout is going to be, uh, we're going to have the uh, the counter about here. Then there's going to be the giant uh, clay oven, uh, which is going to be in the uh, the middle there, uh, going up to the, uh, the chimney, which you can switch on and off. Then we're going to have a little bench down here. And then on the other side, we're just going to have a, a display uh, with all of the uh, the different types of, uh, of pizza there are. And so 
I've run out of iron ore, uh, so while my helpers are filling in the uh, the rest of the uh, the ground there, uh, I'm going to go and I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I meant to do uh, was to go and put down a, a crafting table. Well, let's put the the crafting table down outside so it's not getting in the way. And I was just going to make a, a bench. I'm just going to go and put a, a bench down on the. Uh, on the side, uh, just so people have uh, somewhere they uh, they can sit and uh, and wait. So let's go and uh, place the uh, the bench down here. Uh, so this is just the uh, the place where people can sit down uh, while they're waiting uh, for their their pizza to be cooked. And now uh, what I need to do is I need to go and try and make the uh, the clay oven. And the way I'm going to do this is actually uh, by using um uh, by using uh, armor stands. Uh, and so I've not actually made an armor stand before. So let's go and make some of them. And oh, I need uh, to smelt some of this stone. And oh. Wait, wait a minute, what's... Is that a... Is that a horse? Is there a... There's a horse! Look, everyone, there's a, there's a little baby horse up here! Look, Squashy, William Beaver, hello! <laughs> I've not had a horse in my lovely world before. I knew I'd get one eventually if I waited. I've got a horse, everyone! Hello! Well, I haven't got it yet, so I need to tame it. Uh, but I think because it's a baby, I don't think I'm going to be able to, to tame it, am I? We can't let it We can't let it go away, though. We need to... um. If, if Can someone build, like, a little pen? So we can just put it in a little pen just to make sure it stays safe up here. I've got my own little horse. I need to come up with a name. What shall I name it? What what sort of horse does it look like? What name would you give this horse? I'm gonna call it, um, I'm gonna call it Harry. And is that the pen, Squashy? I meant a nice little pen. That looks like a little prison. <laughs> I guess we can, we can put him in there for now. And then tell you what, Squashy, do you want to try and uh, build a, a nice little home uh, for Harry? A home for Harry uh, up on the uh, the hill here for now, uh, just so he has, uh, has somewhere nice to, to live. And uh, while she's doing that, I'm going to go and uh, carry on doing what I was doing. That was a cool surprise. I still still haven't seen any bunnies yet. I still haven't seen any bunnies, and I know they're going to be round here somewhere, but the problem is, is my lovely world has so many animals in it already uh, that it takes quite a while uh, for, for things to, to spawn in. You know, they, they're quite rare uh, just because of how many uh, things there are already here. But there we go. That's good. Oh, I just had an idea. Because this is supposed to be for pizza delivery, what if we deliver uh, all of the, the pizza on horses? Because I was going to do it on um uh, on pigs, uh, but why don't I do it on horses instead? That could be uh, pretty awesome, I think. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's not get too distracted because I do uh, have quite a, a lot to build today. So this is going to be kind of like the uh, the counter, uh, which is going to go down here. Actually, let's leave a, a little opening there. Uh, so that's how you're going to be able to get behind the counter. And then let's go and uh, build this uh, along down here on this side uh, as well, uh, just like that. And I think this looks okay. I think this looks uh, quite good here. And then we're going to go and build the uh, the clay oven uh, on the uh, the inside on the the middle here and actually I think I could probably uh, do these going a little bit wider actually uh, just to give myself some uh, some more room because uh, the uh, the clay oven's going to be pretty big and it needs to be pretty big and you're going to see why I have been so excited uh, for ages to build this clay oven just to, to show you uh, the uh, the design that I came up with and it's weird because <laughs> normally I'd get excited about you know a giant new mini game or you know something massive instead of just a clay oven but trust me uh, you are going to think this is a uh, really cool and oh my axe is gone. How long have I had that axe for? My axe has finally gone. Let's go and uh, make uh, another axe. I guess uh, at least if I if I run out of iron, uh, I can just go and just mine some from the uh, the floor. And it looks cool, doesn't it, actually? I think the other uh, floor uh, does look pretty awesome. But anyway, uh, let's go and uh, get to, to work. Uh, trying to to do uh, where the uh, the clay oven is uh, is going to be. And oh, <laughs> looks like uh, William Beaver's given me uh, his spare axe anyway. All right then. So the way I need to do this is I need to go and I need to dig a little pit down here. And uh, because as I said, I'm going to be building using um. Uh, what are they called again? The uh, the armor stands. And the reason I'm doing that is because if you set fire to an armor stand, it kind of burns in a in a really cool way. And so what I thought I could do is if I leave a armor stand burning, I can do that as if it's the uh, the fire uh, for the um uh, for the uh, for the clay oven. Uh, but what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to use a a bunch of them. Uh, so I'm going to have a, a bunch of uh, of different ones uh, that I'm going to to use uh, in order to to make it look like it's kind of a bit more like a campfire, I guess. Uh, so let me just go and put some of these sticks in here so I need to uh, leave them smelting uh, so I can make some armor stands uh, but the weird thing with armor stands is if they burn for too long 
uh, then that means, uh, let me just work out where this bed needs to be. Actually, I think I need to do this bed one further this way. Yeah, so if they burn for too long, uh, then that means that they disappear. So what I need to do is make it so the armor stands at the right height and half in lava, so it's burning, but half in water as well, so it doesn't get destroyed. So I'm going to put it on the, the bed to make sure it's the right height. And then I also need to go and add some water down here. And uh, this water is basically uh, going to make sure it doesn't burn. And then I'm going to put down some... Uh, some of these steps down here as well and uh, what these are basically going to, to do is uh, they are going to um, uh, to make sure it goes in the right place because they kind of cover half a block these steps so these uh, should make sure that the uh, the armor stand uh, goes into the uh, the right place so I've got some uh, some hardened, uh, hardened clay uh, seen as this is uh, supposed to be a, a clay oven and so I just need to build over there and I need to make another little opening here and uh, I'm basically going to pour some more water uh, down from, from there as well so let's kind of just build around the outside uh, so the water doesn't go everywhere and eventually I'm going to put some lava down there as well uh, because then that is what's going to be setting it on fire. So let's go and uh, let's go and put this down here and I'm going to need to go and get some more water. I think I got some on me anyway and put that here and basically armor stands can flow in water. So if I put an armor stand somewhere down here, it's actually going to go uh, along here and kind of get stuck right in the corner here, right in the uh, the corner of the bed, uh, which is exactly uh, where we uh, need it to, to be. So uh, let's go and see whether I've got the, the smooth stone because I can use that uh, in order to, to make the uh, the armor stand. So uh, there's a little bit smelted. Uh, let's go and get a, a little bit more of this cobblestone uh, and put it, uh, some more in. I don't want to get rid of all of it because I'm going to need uh, to make some levers uh, in, a, in a minute. So uh, how much smooth stone did I have? Uh, I've got eight pieces now and I need to make these into uh, into half slabs uh, and then that way um, I can uh, uh, I can go and make the armor stand. So there we go. I was able to make 12 of them. Uh, that should be more than enough. So let me go and uh, save the, the rest of my cobblestone before <laughs> I make too much uh, uh, too much of the, the normal stone. And uh, let's make some armor stands then. This is going to be uh, the first armor stand I have ever made in my lovely world. It's rather exciting. And oh, I don't even know where you make them. Where where are they? Are they in like tools, I guess? No, not in tools and weapons. Uh, not in with armor. Uh, decorations. Here we go. And I'm going to make... I think I need to make... Uh, I think I need to make about five of these, I think. So let's go and uh, make uh, a few more of these. Uh, I made three then. So let's go and make uh, two more of these. Uh, and then that way, uh, you can basically make a full circle. Because if you kind of just have them facing in different directions, you can kind of do like a circle of them. And let me kind of demonstrate uh, what I mean by that. So if I stand here and place one, uh, you'll see that it kind of faces in that direction. But then if I go a little bit further around here, you see it's more diagonal. And then I can do one so it's facing this way. And then one so it's facing uh, this way as well. And you can see uh, I've now made uh, a nice little circle. And you can see it looks a little bit like a campfire, doesn't it? Uh, it looks pretty nice. So now if I go and get rid of this water here, they should hopefully slide into the uh, the right position. So there they go, bouncing up and down. <laughs> so if I go and grab some more water, if I place that down, uh, hopefully they're going to stop bouncing up and down. And oh, hello, William Beaver. William Beaver is ready. Can you? Oh, can I? Can I? William Beaver, can I? Can I borrow that bucket of water, please? I'll trade you that bucket of water water for a bucket without water in. <laughs> Thank you, William Beaver. I thought you were bringing it for me, but I think it was for Harry. And whoa, that house is looking absolutely lovely. All right then, so if I place some water down here so that flow stops, there we go. They're now in the exact position I want. You can see it's kind of a uh, quarter on the bed, quarter on the water, quarter there, and then quarter here. And now this is where the, uh, the lava is going to go. So I want to be very careful here uh, because I don't uh, want to place this lava in the wrong place. Let's break away this and and put the lava quickly down there. And there we go. So you can see it's now burning and making the cool fire. But because it's in the water, hopefully, fingers crossed, <laughs> it's not going to, to get destroyed. But I can go even better than that. You might remember that I mentioned uh, that you're going to be able to turn this on and off. So I've got a dispenser here as well. And if I put the dispenser next to that lava, and I need to do this quick as well, so I don't want to make a mess. Oh, no, no, I put the, oh, no, I put the dispenser down wrong. OK, I don't want this to, to go wrong here. Let's try grab the lava. Get the, the dispenser, and then if I go and put the, the dispenser, and I need to get it facing the right way. Is that going to do it? There we go. Then if I put the lava back down here, and then I'm going to go and put the uh, the clay on the, the top. If I do a uh, make a button and press it, the lava is going to come out, and it should start the uh, the fire. So let's go and place the button down and press it, and there we go. Hey, presto. <laughs> we now have fire, and I press it again, and then the fire is going to go off. And then I can press it again, and then the, the fire is going to go on. So there we go. This is it, uh, pretty much how it needs to be. The only problem is 
is that at the moment, uh, you may notice uh, that the, um, yeah, we got all these walls in the way, uh, and there's also, uh, we also need clay to be on this level. Uh, the clay kind of needs to go through the uh, the rest of the, the armor stand. So let's be very careful uh, and break away these walls, because uh, these are no longer needed. And it's quite tricky, actually, the way uh, we need to get the, the clay uh, onto the armor stands. And what we need to do uh, is use pistons. And so if I go and uh, uh, climb up here, uh, if I put some pistons uh, so they're, they're facing down, uh, I can basically push the uh, the pistons uh, through the, the armor stands, and we need to do this twice. So let me go and grab these pistons, and I need to make sure they're all facing down, uh, just like this. Then if I make these pistons extend, they should uh, push these blocks uh, right next to it. And then if I do it again, they're going to do it so that it's level uh, with the uh, the armor stands. So then that way, we're only going to see the uh, the very top part uh, and where the, uh, the fire is. So this is where my levers come in. So let's go and uh, make some of these. And I think if I just do that, oh, there we go. Uh, that's pushed down almost all of them apart from this one here. So let's go and push that one down there. Uh, and now if I go and grab these pistons again and uh, basically just move these one block down, I can do it again. And then we should uh, have the uh, the fire part uh, completely finished. <laughs> I told you it was a little bit complicated. Uh, hopefully I explained it well enough. Uh, and if you're not sure what you're doing, uh, you can basically just copy exactly what I did in this, uh, this video. Uh, and you should be able to make one of these fires as well. Because I'm doing it for a clay oven. But as I said, you could do it for a campfire. You could basically do this design uh, for anything where you want to have a, a little fire uh, that you can turn on or off. Uh, so let's go and uh, let's break this away here. I'm really scared I'm going to mess something up so I'm being really careful around here. So uh, let's go and put them back down. Then if I go and grab these levers as well. I can go and make these extend again, and then that way, as I said, we're only going to see uh, the uh, the little bit of the uh, the fire uh, poking through the the top. So if I do one here, and then I just do another one down here as well, and look at that! <laughs> here is my little fire just poking out the the top. So let's go and get uh, all of these uh, pistons and stuff out the the way uh, because we are not going to to need them anymore. And all squishy, I know you're working hard on a uh, Harry's house, uh, but can you do a, a display on the wall over there uh, just for the uh, the different types of pizza we have? I got a few items frames on uh, me here and uh, I'll give you some of these pizzas as well so if you put some of them up on uh, on display as uh, so people can go and uh, pick uh, what type of, uh, of pizza they want and I need to get to an anvil soon and uh, start renaming these pizza rather than pumpkin pie <laughs> otherwise people won't be very happy but look at this how cool is that fire I am very proud of myself and look I can go like this and I can turn it off and it just looks like that and then I can also go and turn it back on and then it now looks like that I absolutely love this <laughs> right then let's go and try and make this look a little bit more like a, a oven. It looks, uh, looks a little bit like a mess at the moment, doesn't it? So let's go and uh, break all of, uh, of this away along the, the front here. And uh, let's make this uh, kind of like the uh, the opening then. This can go to here, and then I just need to do a little bit uh, along the, the top here. So this is going to be uh, where you'll go and uh, slide the uh, the pizzas into. Uh, so then behind here is going to be uh, where we're going to, to have the uh, the chimney. So if I build this all back to uh, about here, I think, and then I can kind of do the uh, the same on this side. If I build up like this, of course, there won't be uh, an opening on this side because uh, this is going to be the uh, the back of it. And then here, I guess I can have the, uh, the chimney. So so hopefully this should line up. Oh, look at that. Look how perfectly this lines up. So if I just build uh, down from the, the ceiling here, 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 and here, this should all line up uh, and make it look like the uh, the chimney uh, is going out to the outside world. And well, I guess it is going out to the, the outside world. So let's go and uh, place all of that down here. And then I think I can jump and uh, fill all of this in here just like that. And once I've destroyed the dirt, I think my clay oven is going to be finally 100% completed. And look at that. <laughs> Doesn't that look awesome? And once again, I just need to do it because I love this. I can go and uh, switch the, uh, the fire on and off, and it seems to, to still uh, all be working perfectly. So there we go. That is the uh, the main centerpiece uh, for the, uh, the pizzeria done. It's kind of funny how this one little thing took almost as long as building the entire outside of this. It's kind of uh, incredible, but I think it's been worth it. I think it looks good, doesn't it, Corey? <laughs> uh, right then, let's go and uh, finish off the, uh, the rest of this uh, kitchen then, shall we? So I guess in the, the middle here, and we can have like a, another little countertop uh, along here, uh, just so they can go and do some preparations. And oh, I could make a um, I could make a fridge. I got some iron on me, don't I? So if I make some uh, some iron blocks, uh, where are iron blocks? I think they might be along the back here. Yep. If I make a couple of these, and uh, I can make an iron door as well, uh, then I can go and make a, a fridge at the the back here. Uh, so this can be keeping uh, all of the the cold stuff in, of course. Uh, so that can go down there, and then we've got a furnace there. Let's go and add uh, another furnace in here as well, uh, because I. Accidentally uh, put down the um, 
uh, yeah, the wall there, which isn't supposed to go there. Uh, so let's go and add uh, another furnace here. Uh, so these could be for, I don't know, these for, these are for like cooking things that don't need to go in the furnace. And oh, I've actually run out of cobblestone. Uh, Squashy, uh, do you have any, any spare cobblestone on you that I could uh, borrow? Oh, I think she's she's writing a sign. Oh, William Beaver, do you have any spare cobblestone on you that I could borrow? Does no one have any cobblestone? <laughs> it's like the most common thing around here and no one has any. And whoa, look at this. I'm going to take a quick break from building and I'm going to go and check this out. Harry's got a better house than me. Oh, how cute is this? This looks absolutely adorable. <laughs> and oh, oh, he's got a little saddle in there for when he grows up and he's got all of his, um, his pizzas <laughs> and some carrots uh, as well. Oh, this is adorable. So is he still in here then? Why, why is he still? We need to, we need to upgrade him. We need to try and uh, move him uh, across uh, to the other side. If anyone has any, uh, uh, I think it's carrots you need to hold for them to, to follow it. Uh, we can try and move him across uh, into, uh, into his new home uh, and see uh, how much he likes it. This way Harry, come on, follow everyone else. This is where having a, a lead would have been uh, very handy, wouldn't it? And look, there's even like a little waterfall. It kind of reminds me of like a little mini version of my house, I think, with all the uh, the water flowing around everywhere. <laughs> right then, well, they go and try and move Harry across and oh, oh, I can grab the cobblestone from here, can't I? Let me try and do this very carefully because I don't want to, I don't want to, to hit Harry. I can go and grab this and I can use this to go and make the uh, the furnace that I wanted to and then I can come back uh, and check on uh, how uh, Harry is uh, settling into his, uh, his new home. So so do I now uh, have enough cobblestone in order to make my furnace? I do, just about, just about. So let's go and uh, put this uh, in uh, down here. And uh, do I, how much wooden planks do I have? I don't have very many. I'm actually running out of everything today. I've been pushed right to my limit, but I can make some uh, pressure plates here and I could kind of use these, uh, I guess, as like chopping boards, I guess. So I can go and put, I'll put one down there and I can go and put one down here and uh, one down here as well, uh, just to, to decorate that a little bit more. And I guess I could put some chests down as well, I guess because we need the uh, the different ingredients as well. So tell you what, let's just go and uh, cut down a, a tree uh, so I can get a, a bit more wood, uh, so I can add some, uh, some chests down to have all of the uh, the ingredients uh, that we need uh, in order to to go and try and make a um a tasty pizza. So let's just go and uh, cut this down here. Luckily, it's uh, very close by, and I can go and make myself uh, a chest. And uh, inside of there, we can have all of the uh, the different pizza ingredients. And oh, oh, it looks like a uh, William Beaver's dressing up. I don't know if there's any danger nearby. <laughs> Normally, when he gets dressed up in his diamond armor, uh, it means that he's seen something. So we're definitely going to have to uh, to keep a guard. Oh, I think he's going to go and protect Harry. I think he's going to go and look after Harry. So let's say, so let's put a chest there, and then let's go and put a a chest here, and I can go and put this uh, other chop board <laughs> uh, right about down here and oh let's see the the pizza so we got the uh, cheese and tomato a veggie veg a meaty meat and an upside down one <laughs> there we go an amazing selection uh, of pizza we can have so the way they'd be cooked is you'll just come up here and then you'll just throw them in the the clay oven like this and then you can see it look how good that is it'll be there just cooking away oh that looks absolutely amazing and these are annoying me a little bit though i kind of like the the vertical ones as the uh, the corners uh, but i think uh, they should only only be one. So let's go and um, uh, switch this around here. Be careful where you're standing, Corey. Uh, so let's go and place this one down here. And then I guess I could go uh, as uh, pretty much the, the final thing I need to add uh, is uh, a trap door, uh, which I can add here uh, just so we can get behind the counter uh, without having to, to go and jump up on it like I have been every time. So uh, let's go use the uh, the crafting table here and uh, let's go and make myself uh, a trap door. And then I'm going to go and check on Harry and see uh, if he's uh, moved into his new home. But there we go. This is the uh, the clay oven pizzeria uh, completely finished. Uh, <laughs> I loved your pizzas, by the way, Squishy. They look very nice. All right, then I guess I might put down some uh, some iron doors uh, on here for for now. Uh, so Squishy, you might want to get outside because we don't have any uh, any buttons yet. <laughs> I guess we could uh, just add some levers on for for now so we can go and uh, get in and out. So uh, there we go. This is the uh, the clay oven pizzeria 100% completed. Well done, everybody. And now let's go uh, and see how Harry, my new horse, uh, is doing in his new house. <laughs> Harry's hut. Oh, oh, Harry, you are adorable. So hopefully in the, the next episode, uh, Harry would have, uh, have grown up and uh, we can go uh, and ride him uh, around my lovely world for the, uh, the first time. Uh, but sadly, uh, we have now just about uh, run out of time in this uh, episode here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. As per always, uh, there's going to be a link in the other uh, description to the next episode once it's online. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!